Hello, I'm Daniel. Welcome to the Global Marijuana March event for Regina. One poll after another shows the majority of Canadians want marijuana legalized. Our government has reacted on every level by cracking down harder and introducing harsher legislation. And it uh, really, you know, democracy is supposed to mean majority rule. And the question that I found myself asking is if Canada is really a democracy. And there's, you know, and that's about the one, that's about the one thought that I just kind of, you know, like people to be mulling around in their heads and I don't really want to get too political and uh, because you know I happen to be an angry negative person I don't want other people to be but that's just a thought I want people rattling around in people's heads and uh, today there's going to be bands apparently when they show up uh, which I told them around six so probably around six um, and then we got speakers and the first one is Mr. Tom Shapiro yeah. Hello, back again another year. Good to see you all. First of all, would you mind if I uh, medicate? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah! That's what it's all about. The freedom to be able to just light up. Yeah. You know, because everybody around the world is having a hard time with this. And uh, 200 and uh, if I just take a note here, 235 cities around the world are doing what we're doing today. I don't know if they're sitting in a park, but uh, uh, it's getting worse and worse in Canada as the uh, Americans are more encroaching on our uh, policies up here. We have Stephen Harper, who's uh, trying to be a little Bush himself. I wish he would stop doing that. I was reading in the news today about a fellow down in the States who had permission to smoke marijuana for medicinal purposes. Uh, he needed a liver transplant. They refused him a liver transplant because he smokes marijuana. What? He died on Thursday. He's dead now. That's the American government. They would rather see you die than have this. I don't know what the problem is. Around the world, everybody has recognized this as a medicinal thing for people and for some recreational. I mean, when I was younger, it was recreational. I stopped smoking it, and then uh, years went by, and then I found out after I had a condition that's uh, fatal, they said, well, try smoking some of this. It might help, and it sure did. My doctors today are still asking, how is it you're still here? Your blood is really good. You shouldn't be where you are, but I am. And uh, I don't say it's uh, cannabis that did it, but I say it didn't hurt it. In fact, it's helped me keep my pills down, which is a really good thing. I have uh, some other statistics here, too. Uh, wanted to point out. Oh, did you know that the uh, Green Party... Apparently, uh, sides with legalizing marijuana, and the 55% of all Canadians sided with the Green Party on that. Uh, the Conservatives' website attacks the Green Party's politics. That's the Conservatives for us there. I don't know if we should, who we should get back in there. Uh, the Green Party sounds good. The Liberals almost had it for us until the Conservatives got in. That, that ruined it for everybody. Uh, I don't know how many people know their history here. Uh, do you remember Pierre Trudeau? There was Before he got into power, there was a thing called the Ladane Commission. And he was, uh, part of that commission was to go out and see what the thing was with marijuana. Is it dangerous or what? And part of that, uh, that commission was uh, Pierre Trudeau going to meet John Lennon and Yoko Ono. <coughs> as they were going across Canada in their private little boxcar on a train. Inside the train was America, outside was Canada, so they never left the train. So he came to visit them and uh, talk to them about marijuana, and the Ladane Commission, I believe, had favorable reports on it. But this has all been pushed under. The, the government is not interested in statistics, in the things that show that marijuana is helpful. 
They keep saying it's a dangerous drug. I haven't known anybody to die from this stuff yet. Does anybody know anybody who died from this yet? No. no. I've heard you can eat it hand over fist and never eat enough to kill you. So how is it so dangerous? I don't understand. I lived in BC. I saw people dying. I've, I've known people who have died. They got into heavier drugs, into heroin and, and shooting up cocaine, and they died. Just like that, bam, dead. Marijuana, never had that problem out there. See people walking around smoking a joint, and they're not dying. Matter of fact, out there, I was amazed to see people sitting on the sidewalks with needles in their arms. I couldn't believe how free it was out there. Of course, I wouldn't do that to me, but <laughs> some people might. Uh, back east, they're having a big rally like this in Toronto right now. There's probably thousands of people there. Hopefully, we'll get thousands here one day. I just have uh, a lot of regrets that we got Stephen Harper up there on the hill. Yeah, he's got to go. I'm sorry. His policies are just out there. Uh, he's presented, I can't believe they're presented with, with evidence of, of its benefits. And they go, sorry, no, no, we'll follow a bush down here. Oh, that's a nice bomb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right on. Looks nice. You see all the flags here? You see the flags? People wearing them, too. <laughs> Those look good. Well, I just hope that we can get our country together. I'm going to run again in the next election. Only I'm going to pick it. I'm going to pick a different part of town. Did you know I beat the Green Party? <laughs> that was that was pretty wild. All I said was we're the Greener Party. <laughs> it got me a few more votes, I guess. <laughs> I'd sure like to to see this uh, province be a free province. Now, I don't know what, what this new government's going to be like. Brad uh, Walder, he's, uh, I don't know if his policies are really with this. I don't think they are. Uh, I think right now they're probably trying to figure out, like, holy shit, we're in charge now. What do we do? You know? They're probably trying to figure that out on the hill. Now they got themselves a little cushy job up there. They might just uh, forget all the little promises they make. Everybody does when they get into power. I can't believe it. It's like, uh, in the federal government, it must be the, 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 med the medicine companies must be moving in and saying, hey, we don't want marijuana out there because people can grow it. We can't sell it to them. The government has tried, and they failed miserably. Did you see in the news how uh, uh, they were talking about designated growers being able to grow for more than one person? And uh, the courts had ordered that they have to be able to let them grow for more than one person. It's just not feasible. Well, the, uh, the, of course, the government has put in, Health Canada has put in a little bit of a, a fuss about that, and they, they got a year to uh, get this through the courts. If that happens, then we'll be able to grow for more than one person. And I think it'll probably, I think if we just decriminalize the thing to start, it's a, it's a step in the right direction. You know, we don't have to necessarily legalize this stuff tomorrow, but it'll be sure nice just to be able to light up a joint, and if a cop says, how much you got on you? Oh, well, you only got that much? Okay, see you later. Have a nice day. You know, <laughs> that would be really good. Uh, I don't see the cops here today, so, uh, hmm. Did anybody invite them? No? I think they were at the last one, because it was in the big park. You know? They don't want all the people walking by to see, you know, someone smoking a joint. Has anybody here uh, ever used it medicinally? Yeah, we got a few people? All right. And you're, obviously you're okay? No? Yeah. You're still here. Everybody's alive? Yeah. Didn't hurt you? Did you Did you feel like going out and killing someone after smoking? I want to sit down and watch a movie. Yeah, you want to see something funny? Watch, uh, watch uh, uh, what was that called? The, uh, the Madness movie there? Reefer Madness. That's the one. Oh. <laughs> I was putting through that the other night. Boy, was that ever funny, eh? How they base their laws. I was reading on the, on the history of the laws of cannabis, concerning cannabis. All the laws were put together was by hearsay. There was one person who sat there and said, Whoa, yeah, well, people, uh, they smoke a uh, joint. Then the next thing you know, they uh, uncontrollable laughter. And then they started to get into fits of uh, wanting to get out and kill people to get more drugs. Uh, it was so hilarious watching the movie with a guy sitting at the piano with a girl playing and smoking and puffing like a maniac <laughs> trying to make her eyes